Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am back with another video and this time it is on the five essentials that you need to survive medical college. All you medicals out there, this is a very essential video and I am not going to talk about study tips or how to increase your concentration but I am going to talk about something very normal but very essential for your medical life. So the first thing is always buy Indian author books. All of your seniors and everybody around you will tell you to buy the standard books which are written by the foreign authors. Have them for a reference but follow your Indian author books because these uh, foreign authors in the standard books, they give you everything in a story like a paragraph and you will get lost by the time you finish the reading. So to know what to study and you know how to know about it, what is actually needed for your exams, always follow your Indian books. So the second thing is always have your question banks with you. Question banks are very important however good a student you were in your school or anything. Don't think you can study the whole text, you can finish it. For your exams at least, always have your question bank with you. Like for, an, for our university, the RGHS University, we have companion. In that, they will give you all of the previous year questions. Always follow that because only those will be asked in your exam. What I did was in my first year, because I was just fresh out of my school and everything, um, I, and I used to study everything, A to Z, full. So I was sitting and studying general anatomy from BDT, that small book that comes, and I was sitting and studying, and my uh, senior walked in. And she asked me, why am I studying this book? Because very few questions are asked from that, right? And I don't know, no, no, I have to study everything because I've been doing that from school and all of that. And she was like, okay, fine, study. Because she knew I would give up eventually, and I did do that. So I then uh, stuck on to Companion and I'm in my final year and I've done well in all of my exams and it's not that you're skipping anything. Almost everything is there but you will know as to what is very important and what is not. Third point is your internals. Now internals might not be very important for other courses but it is very important for medicine and especially your third internals or pre-finals as they call it in some universities. In your pre-finals or your third internals, you are studying the whole portion of the whole year. So you know where, in what topic you need to spend how much time, right? So you already have this big idea and supposing you don't uh, do very well in your third internals, you know where to improve upon. So it's very important that you pay attention. I did do this mistake once, I missed my third internal in one subject in my second year and during my final exam I really didn't do very well uh, only in that subject. So I would always tell you all to pay attention and study well for your third internals. So fourth point is always have a set of friends with you, a group of friends with you who can help you out through everything because medical college is a different level of stress, a different kind of stress that none of your other course friends can even understand. So when you are having your group of friends in your medical college, they are going through the same journey as you are. So they will always know, they will always relate and you can share your uh, problems with each other and just you know, they can guide you throughout. And just keep at least two of same friends, need not be a huge group. And I think I am lucky enough to have those two, three friends in my college who could help me out uh, when I was like extra stressed during exams and everything. So always have your friend circle with you in your medical Okay, fifth point is your seniors. Now they're the most important part of your medical life. It's like codependency. Your senior is dependent on you, you are dependent on them. But I cannot speak much for myself because uh, I have very few seniors that I have a good rapport with. But I have seen a lot of my friends and a lot of my juniors who have really great senior junior relationship. You can always depend on your seniors for anything, any advice about studies or anything else and they like they, they'll be like family to you. Even after you leave your medical college, they will always be there for you and you can always just give them a call, ask them down, but just, you know, hang out. I have one senior of mine who uh, usually when I'm stressed during the exam, or very rarely I do this, but once I've gone to her and uh, she had marked all the important questions for me. So it really helped me a lot and she helped me calm down and everything. So always have a good senior junior relationship because then it will help you out in your life. So these were the five essentials that every medical student must know to survive in a medical college. So if you all agree to this video and if you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. Thank you.
Thank you.